Hi, so this is a really exciting vlog because we are currently on holiday. Yep, we're in France where we've come away as a family to spend the week. We came here because it's actually my best friend's wedding, which was last weekend and absolutely amazing. So, so beautiful. We loved it. We loved being there as a family. So that was awesome. And this week's vlog, however, is about some of the things that I packed and brought along with us, the Jack, including some of my absolute favourite outfits. So not just like standard baby grows um, and sleep suits, but just some of the little gems that I've had him in this week, as well as some of the other essential items that I brought for him and also for me. So first up are these shorts, these jean shorts, which I really, really love. They're so cute. They're from Baby Gap. I love the cutoff trim at the bottom. They're pretty big for him right now. So they're actually kind of like jeans, but they will end up as jean shorts, hopefully. Um, and they will last, but I really, really love them. They're so cute. Um, next up is this little Hawaiian shirt, which I couldn't resist. This is from Next. And um, I just love it. And actually teamed it with these, the jean shorts that made a really cute outfit for a barbecue that we had. So I love that one. Um, his wedding outfit, I am kind of obsessed with. So this is what he wore. These linen trousers teamed with the little linen shirt. And I love the collar, the high collar. Um, this is from John Lewis. And I just think he'll get so much wear out of it as well to wear the different parts separately. And it was great because it kept him cool in the daytime. But then once it got a bit nippier at night, um, because the long sleeves and the high neck, he also stayed pretty warm. So love that. And then these are quite special ones because these are seriously vintage. My mum knitted them for my brother, who is now 35. She's 35 years old. These lime green woolen dungarees. And they're super cute. Again, they're woolen. They let the air in, but they kept them quite warm um, at night. And they're just super cute. And I love them. love the colour. In a similar vein are these oh, little yellow shoes, also knitted by my mum. Also kept his little feet really warm and also 35 years old. Absolutely love these. And then this coat, which is um, a Jacardi one. Um, it's 100% cotton, so also kept him nice and warm, but didn't let him sweat or anything if he got really hot in it. Love the little hood, which we put up one night when it got really windy. Um, and just love the pattern generally and the stripes and the nautical look. And then finally is this little hat from John Lewis with the drop down bit around the ears and the neck um, kept the sun off him and just looked super cute on him as well. In terms of a couple of pairs of shoes, these little number, this little number from Baby Gap which I love, super cute kind of sport shoes and then probably my favourite which I'm kind of sad about but he didn't get to wear because they're a bit big for him are these little sandals from John Lewis. Um, I wanted him to wear them with the linen outfit for the wedding, but yeah, a little bit big. So next time, hopefully. And then other things, bibs. Just brought with me loads of bibs um, to make sure that all the cute outfits stayed clean and that he wasn't sticking up all over them, basically. Um, other little bits, obviously, muzzles, loads and loads of the guys. Um, can't get enough of them. Um, another thing that I bought, which was really useful with these things, cheeky wipes. So normally I use cheeky wipes, which are essentially flannels that you make wet and then use to clean um, baby's bottom. Normally I use them to clean Jack after a wet nappy, but here I've used them just to dab him with when he's got really hot, just to keep him cool, which is really, really loved. And then just pop them into this wet bag um, and carry them around with me. So that's been a really good one, the cheeky wipes. Um, also, what else? Baby sun cream, obs. Um, and then this, which is Balm Balm. Um, it's a baby balm and I've used it on him when he's got, when his skin's got a little bit irritated in the sun, he got kind of like a bit of a heat rash. Um, also when he got some dry skin and it's 100% organic and it's just, it's just really nice. It doesn't have any weird smells and it's quite nifty and small. So I've just popped that in my bag and had that with me. So love that. And then Mr. Pebble, obviously Mr. Pebble, we don't get anywhere without him. Jack loves him and he's just super cute and easy and light to carry around. Um, I've also had with me this changing mat, which I actually got free with a magazine, but has been a lifesaver because it's so tiny. So I just whipped it out in the airport, whipped it out in the restaurants. Um, really, really advise having a really tiny changing mat with you. It's been really useful. And then just a couple of bits for me. So my feeding bib, 
I don't always use this when I'm at home, but here I've just figured actually probably should in places where I don't really know the people. Um, so that's Bebe Chic, um, and I love this one. And then lanolin, always carry some good old lanolin around. And then these, which are breast pads, and they're actually reusable ones. They're 100% bamboo, and they're by Little Lamb. And I love them because you use them and then you just pop them in the washing machine um, and they come out good as new and you can keep reusing them. So really love these. I've got quite a few of these with me. And then finally, good old disposable camera, which has been brilliant here. I've taken some really nice photos, hopefully, with the light. Um, so that I take that one around with me. And that is it, really. Just I've talked to you through a couple of my favourite outfits of Jack's and then some kind of essentials for him and then also for me. So I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching and I will see you once we are back in the UK. Bye!